Thank you for bringing your creative minds to create the art that we're going to enjoy for so many years here at Cofelt. We're here today at the dedication for the Cofelt Lamoureux Homes. It's a vintage post-World War II, uh, 1950s public housing community uh, that was in disarray at one point in time and slated for demolition. Uh, the community really encouraged us to try and save Cofelt. After two years of uh, transformational work here, uh, we're now celebrating the opening, the grand opening for the new Cofelt, um, which is going to be just an exciting and a high quality living environment for years to come. Art became a part of this project when we started to look at how desolate it was, how it did not have anything that, you know, captured your eye. And we started to think, what could we do here to integrate art? And art's always been something that I've been interested in, something that I enjoy when I go places. And so I thought, you know, let's integrate art here and repurpose some of the materials that come out of this property to create art pieces. We have so many creative artists to be able to tap to come in and, and give us ideas and tell us how do we integrate art using repurposed materials from this construction project. Oh, here it is. I am the sculptor for the Spirit of Renewal, which is the iconic sculpture created for the Cofelt project. And what we do is create monumental works of art that are, have been placed all over the United States. And one of the things that we enjoy doing the very most is getting to know a community where we'll be making the art and coming up with ideas that enhance and elevate that community and really connect their hearts. The spirit of renewal really represents what this project represents, which is a community that was just in deep need of renewal, re revitalization, re-engagement. Uh, but it was a community that really wanted to celebrate its history at the same time. So what you'll see in that sculpture is an incorporation of components, recycled materials from the buildings themselves at this property and uh, turn those into butterflies and sort of releasing of the butterflies, which is really a celebration of a new day for the community here. My name is Rita, and my um, dad, uh, Chief, and my grandma, Vivian, uh, we used to come every summer. So this property is really amazing, you know, because it brings a lot of memories. I'm glad to see the, the beauty of the art that is coming on the property, you know, and just the history has been brought to life, you know, and, and the beauty and the color of all the creativity that they're having here, you know, I'm just like really amazed. And with public art, they take a new level of pride. It's beyond just the bricks and sticks of their homes. It's about the entire community. And the public art sort of is the, is the bond that brings them all together. What I've uh, come to learn is that uh, incorporating public art can really attract additional resources to a community um, and just bring a whole spirit of uh, partnership and pride. And this partnership involves the private sector, the public sector, the nonprofit sector, the arts community. Uh, everyone had to come together and the residents themselves um, to come up with the ideas, to come up with the solutions and the resources to make this possible. And it all happened and it's just really exciting to see.